Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Devs Kingdom. In this video, we're going to cover OLM OCR from LNAI. So it is a great tool to convert PDFs to text. So you can also use that to create LLM datasets and training. You can see uh, they have a lot of the stars already uh, in the past few days. And so in this video, we're going to cover how to build it the best way. And if you want to convert a PDF similar to this one, to text, as you can see here, this is what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. That being said, let's get started. So first, you have to go to the readme to copy these two lines so that this will install all the dependencies uh, for Ubuntu or Debian systems. So this is needed. And other than that, you probably don't need all the steps in here. So this is only for local host. We're going to demo this on notebook, which is more convenient. So uh, this will not apply. And lastly, you probably need a package to view the results. So the package is, I believe that's uh, D-O-L-N-A viewer. So you probably need this as well, but we'll cover that later in this video. So after everything's ready, you should be able to see something like this. So already um, both the same thing here, but their lightning is a little bit different. Um, but if you download this file, it will be same as this one. So that being said, let's continue with the notebook. So as I mentioned earlier, so first install, install the dependencies like this um, two lines. Then because they need a Python 3.11, so you also need to install Conda. Uh, so just do uh, a mini Conda. So I mentioned these steps in my previous videos. Feel free to check that out. So this is very straightforward. After you install Conda, um, make sure you create a virtual environment if you install Python 3.11. So this is needed for this project. Then you have to map everything from the system path um, from the Miniconda. So make sure all the paths from the virtual environment are mapped to the system path. And after that, make sure you also map the PIP path as well. So then you have to add everything to the path and system path. So make sure those are done uh, before you start in the project. Then you check the path, everything is here. You can also check if all the uh, Python binaries are mapped to the system path, as you can see here. And uh, that should be it. So in this project, you also have to install IPAC kernel and make sure to do an upgrade. It might have some issues if you don't install that. Uh, also you need to install the IPI widgets. So that should be it. Then because we're actually running a notebook, so you also might want to apply the nest async IO and also make sure that is applied. And before all these prerequisites are ready, then we're going to install the OLM OCR. So uh, first, you have to install the OLM OCR package from the PIP and also the OpenAI. Because we're not um, using the packages I mentioned in the readme, uh, we're going to use the OpenAI package. So we can build a service and call uh, the RESTful service instead of running the uh, packages in here, which is, uh, I believe that's more convenient. So uh, after that, make sure you do a git clone of the uh, OLM OCR uh, git repo. And also uh, make sure this file exists because this is the file that we're going to test, which is the one that's uh, showing up in here. So you can see Christians behaving themselves. All right. So uh, this is what we're going to convert to the attacks in this demo. Um, so make sure this PDF exists. Uh, after that, uh, we create a test.py. So this is how the magic works. So we're going to create something very different than the readme. And you can see, actually, we're making a call using the OpenAI uh, RESTful service. So we're going to set this um, RESTful service using the VLM. So you can search for the, this channel using VLM. You can find all our tutorials to show you how to build a VLM on Kaggle uh, with free GPUs. So as you can see here, um, we already uh, spin up. So this is running uh, using the Q1 2.5 VL7B instruct. So we're not going to use the official LNAI um, OLM OCR because this is not really fully supported with the uh, VLM, as you can see from their uh, documentation, um, because um, the Q1 uh, 2 VL so this is not really fully supported. So we're going to use the uh, different model. 
which is also very flexible because if you don't want to use the Q1 2.5, you can use different vision models. So basically, this can use the uh, vision language model um, to identify what actually is in the PDF, So which is cool, and plus the OCR. So that being said, let's continue. After you set up the VR, you will have an open AI interface like this one. So this one that's running right now, you can flash and refresh the page. You can see this is running right now. And uh, make sure your PI key is from the PI key that you set up. So we use the token ABC103. Uh, you can see this is token ABC103. So after you set up the uh, VR, uh, just add the information in the open AI function. So that should be it. Then make sure you create a file directory, which you will uh, store the default PDF that you're trying to convert. And also the file name is the one uh, from the official Alvin AI OM OCR repo. So, and also make sure you have the file pass. So the rest of it is basically just to uh, read the response from the open AI VLM interface. And after that, you convert everything to a text. So you can see this is process page. So um, let's go to the main function. So all we have to do is basically pass in this PDF file first. So you define uh, the file here. So this file path, which is the original PDF file. And after that, um, you just make sure that uh, you create a function, which is uh, get content in this tutorial. And then you basically read the content from this file, uh, this PDF file, get all the file uh, pages of the PDF file. Then for each page, you basically process that page to so convert that page to a text. So you can see here, this basically uh, process um, this page, an individual page, and to first build a query. And after that, um, we basically build a payload uh, to use for the Q1 2.5 VL7 v instruct with the OpenAI interface. So you can see this client is OpenAI. We basically pass in this payload uh, so that it will uh, run against the Q1 2.5 VL7 v, which is also very new. Uh, it released probably a month ago. Uh, so it's very good from uh, Alibaba. And after that, we just basically get the response from this uh, visual language model and uh, add it to the page results. That's all you need to do. And uh, after you get the page content, add the result to this loop. And after that, make sure all the results of the PDF are attached. So all the pages are attached to the results, which is all the tags. And then, you can also test it uh, by running something similar to this one. And after that, uh, just uh, convert everything to a DOMA format. So the DOMA format is something that you saw like uh, this one. So this is the DOMA format. As you can see here, it's a DOMA preview. So um, so this is basically you add the results to a DOMA file, which is a very cool way to display it and to compare the difference between the original PDF and the one that's converted to text. So then um, this is all you have to do. After that, just run the test.py. And you can see everything is converted correctly. So this is original text. That's uh, from the PDF. So which is the Christians behaving themselves like uh, Mahomedans. So here is the same. So and for the natives, something like that. And you can see this is uh, the natives soon had reason to suspect the right. So this is basically the exact the same thing as you can see in the PDF. It converted there while including everything else uh, at the bottom. So you can see the Gaddish history, and you can see here that's Gaddish history. So the conversion is very good. So uh, it's a vision language model plus the OCR process. So we basically use the OCR uh, as a platform or framework to wire up the vision language model. It can be any language model. Um, it can be the OM OCR, it can be this model, but this, as I mentioned earlier, is not fully supported. So uh, it can be the GUF model. Also, it can be the vision uh, language model from Q1 team, which is what we're using right now, the Q1 2.5 VL7 the instruct. You can also use other language model to try it out, as long as it's supported by the VLM. Um, so you can see this converted to text. Also, you can see this is basically the DOMA uh, object, which is a JSON object. So this will uh, basically be uh, converted 
uh, to a HTML if you use the uh, viewer .doma viewer. So um, this will be uh, converted to HTML. You can see here it's basically put to the DOMA proofs, previews. So uh, under DOMA previews, this is basically the HTML we converted from the JSONL, which is the object you see in here. So uh, that should be it. So we can also display HTML uh, using the IPython core display, and that should be it. So the color is a little bit off, but um, you can download this file, so it should be the same as you can see in the official documentation. Okay, uh, that should be it. Hopefully this is helpful, and this is a pretty good uh, PDF to text framework. And hopefully this is helpful. If you do like this video, please subscribe, like, or comment if you have any questions. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.